Energy Storage Systems, or BESS, are quickly becoming a hot-button topic in the power industry. So today, I'd like to spend some time to demystify these facilities. Starting on the right-hand side, we can see an assemblage of DC batteries. Individual DC cells are connected in series and then into parallel arrays in order to achieve a total desired BESS output. Often, these batteries are lithium-ion technologies, which many of us are familiar with, in cell phone, computing, and other electronics. The batteries are monitored on the DC side for both individual DC cell voltage, as well as temperature, recorded at multiple locations throughout the arrays. This information is useful for monitoring battery health, as well as the BESS operation. Moving upstream, an AC-DC converter bidirectionally converts between DC power and AC power as needed, both for charging the batteries as well as to provide desired best outputs. On the AC side, we have both low voltage and medium or high voltage AC equipment. This includes instrument transformers, relays, meters, circuit breakers, step-up transformers, and auxiliary transformers which supply the station service loading of the facility. The BESS is controlled by a combination of SCADA and battery energy management systems. The SCADA system interfaces with owner and utility off-takers to provide for manual controls as well as pass information back and forth between these entities. The battery energy management system, or BEMS, unifies the AC and DC sides of the BESS to facilitate automatic controls, manual controls, as well as monitor the health of the system overall.